One of the coolest things about WordPress as an ecosystem is the sheer abundance that you have of plugins, tools, and themes to choose from. While it can be daunting, it also is a really rich place for amazing tools. And one of those tools that I use and probably lots of other people use is Advanced Custom Fields, both the free and the pro version. So we're looking to expand what we can do with WordPress. ACF is probably one of those tools that we kind of generally tend to default to. However, there are some other really, really good tools out there that rival what you can do with ACF. And in this video, I'm going to show you some of the ones that I would recommend that you check out for yourself. Quick disclaimer, some of these are affiliate links. Many of them have free versions you can test out with no affiliate link whatsoever. And if you want to use your own links, by all means do. Just check them out and take a look at what they offer. So first of all, we've got the granddaddy, Advanced Custom Fields. If you're watching this video, chances are you know exactly what this does. It allows us to create meta fields, custom meta fields for WordPress. We can expand what we can do. Recently, this has been expanded even further to give us the ability to start working with custom post types and taxonomies. There's also the pro version, which gives you an awful lot more. However, if you want to start learning, the free version has an abundance of great options. And there are tons of videos on this channel. Simply search for Advanced Custom Fields or ACF, and you'll probably find 30 or 40 videos showing you from the basics right the way through to more advanced topics. If you want to go further, then you can take a look at the pro version. But I do honestly think the free version has so much to offer, you'd be crazy not to check it out. But that's ACF, as we know. But what other options are there? You can take a look at Jet Engine from Crocoblock. Now, this can be bought as a standalone product, or it can be bought as part of an overall suite of tools, which is the Crocoblock suite with various different flavors. Now, what this does is very much the same as what you have with advanced custom fields. However, there's an awful lot more that it can do. You want to create front-end dashboards? You can do it with this. You want to create custom forms that tie into all those custom meta fields and custom post types, all manner of different things? You can do that as well. It works equally well with Gutenberg as it does with Elementor and a range of other tools that's being expanded as we kind of speak. So if you want to take a look, Jet Engine is definitely one of those ones that I would highly recommend you take a look at. You can also pair this up with things like the Jet Smart Filters and open up a really powerful combination where you can create any kind of website you want with all front-end dashboards and adding content in in any manner that you wish. And then you can also go ahead, filter it, search it, and so much more. It's a pretty powerful combination. It's not going to break the bank, and it is something that I would recommend taking a look at. Again, I've got an abundance of tutorials, including a series of beginner's tutorials that will take you right through the beginning, right the way through to more intermediate level options. So check out Jet Engine, link in the description below. Next up, we have Metabox. Now, these are in no particular order. These are just as I've loaded them in and they come to mind. These are the ones that I would recommend you take a look at. So Metabox, as its name would suggest, allows you to create custom meta fields, custom post types, front end dashboards, all the same kinds of things that you have as part of Jet Engine, which takes you beyond what you can do with advanced custom fields should you need those options. And there are an awful lot of options when it comes to Metabox. It is a growing platform. The support for it is actually growing as well. So there's a lot more tools like bricks and breakdowns and things like that that are supporting this. And that's one of the things I think we all need to consider when you're choosing any of these tools is how our ecosystem, how our tool stack, whatever you use to build your websites, how well that supports these tools that you're looking at. Always check that out compatibility-wise before you settle upon a particular option. Again, Metabox has a free option, which is kind of limited, but you can at least get a feel for how things work. From my point of view, Metabox is a little bit on the daunting side. I don't find it quite as user-friendly straight out of the box as you have with Advanced Custom Fields and, in some instances, Jet Engine. However, they can't underestimate the amount of power that it actually brings to the table. And like I say, there's an abundance of options, and there's a lot of tutorials available on the official channel for Metabox. So you may want to check that out. And I would, again, recommend checking the link out because this will show you a lot of what you can do, including things like submission forms, Apps and so on. It's a lot of really cool functionality inside Metabox. And they sometimes offer lifetime deals if you want to grab a lifetime deal to kind of have a one-time paid and done option. Next on the agenda is pods. If you don't have the budget to be able to get up and running and start creating more advanced WordPress websites, pods is one you may want to check out. Now, this is in a similar kind of vein to what you can do with advanced custom fields free. And if you want to expand what you can do with this, then there are some additional add-ons. There's a pro option and so on. Pods is a 
very useful platform to work with. It's not particularly my choice. I've tested it out and it works well, but the development is a lot slower than some of the other options that we have in this particular list. So if you want to have something that develops and expands very, very quickly, pods may not be the best option. But again, there's an awful lot to like about pods and the fact you have a very powerful free version that means you can easily learn and get to grips with the whole platform it does make it enticing. And one of the things I want you to kind of bear in mind, whatever option you choose, whether it's ACF, Jet Engine, or any of the others, once you understand the fundamentals of working with advanced custom fields and meta fields and post types and taxonomies and all those kinds of things, a lot of those skills will transition across all of these. The terminology is pretty much the same. The way you create things is pretty much the same. So whichever one you start off with, don't feel that you can't move to another one. I've done this myself. I started with ACF. I've worked at the Jet Engine. I've tested Metabox. I've worked with pods. The terminology is very, very similar. So you can push those skills over to whatever you choose in the future. Now, another thing when it comes to pods is you have add-ons that open up additional integration. So if you want to integrate with things like with Beaver Thema and so on, there's additional add-ons for this as well. Pricing will vary. And again, I would recommend you take a look at the options available. But if you want to take a look at working with pods, there are a lot of new add-ons available. And it is pushing forward, just not necessarily as a, at the same kind of pace as some of the other options that are in this list. Now, next on my list is one that a lot of people really like, but for me, it just didn't resonate. I found it a little bit too convoluted to set things up, but I cannot underestimate the amount of power that's available in Toolset. And if you're a Gutenberg user and you want to stay away from working with page builders and you like that native integration, Toolset may be a really solid option for you. Again, this has an awful lot to like about it. You can create your custom post types, your meta fields and so on. Again, front end forms, you can have maps that you can search against, you can have multi-filter queries and so on. So you can have really complex and comprehensive filters. Great if you want to create things like real estate websites, car sales websites, and so on. This is a kind of one and done platform that contains pretty much everything you want. You don't need to go outside it to be able to build really powerful dynamic websites. Like I say, for me, it wasn't one that resonated that well with me but a lot of people really do like Toolset. So if you want to check that out, have a little look. The link's in the description. And as always, with all of these, check out the showcases, check out the demo sites, check out the feature list, and see if they have what you need to do any kind of project or what you want to move forward to learn. Now, my next two options are relatively new options on the table. They're new to the platform. However, they are picking up a lot of interest. First up, we have Cube WP. So this is, again, one of those dynamic kind of tools where you can create your custom meta fields, your custom post types and taxonomies and so on. But what you have with this is the ability to open up more features with the extensions. So if you take a look at the extensions, you have a front-end form builder. You have a multi-channel revenue stream options, on-site messaging, post reviews and ratings promote and boost traffic, calendars, and so on. So there's a lot of options. These are paid options, so you are going to need to invest some money if you want these specific features. But the fact it's modular, it does allow you to just pick and choose what you want. Whether you like that model or not is up to you. But there's an awful lot to like about what Cube WP is bringing to the table. It is developing relatively quickly. I think version 2.0 is due to come out pretty soon. But as you can see, we can create custom post types, taxonomies, custom fields, meta boxes, cubes, repeatable, repeatable field groups, easy for you to say, relationships, conditional logic, and so on. There's a lot to like about KubeWP. But if you want something that has a proven track record and great support, maybe one of the other options would be a better solution. But if you want to hop on board with a new up and coming tool that is developing quickly, has a great community that's taking on board what people are saying, maybe check out KubeWP. Next on the agenda is ACPT, another relatively new tool to the market. But again, this is one that is picking up a lot of interest. I did a poll to find out what tools everybody's using in my YouTube channel, my Facebook group, and also on Twitter. And ACPT actually surprised me at how many people came back and said they're using it. So this is a platform that is moving forward at a decent pace and picking up a lot of interest from users. So I can see this definitely growing and moving forward at a decent pace and picking up a lot more users along the way. And one of the things ACPT has going for it is its integrations. As you can see, it's integrated with Bricks, Breakdowns, Oxygen, Zion Builder, pretty much all of the main options, including some maybe slightly more obscure options, 
they're kind of available to you. If you take a look at the features, there's a free or light version, and there's also ACPT, which is the paid version. And if you take a look at the comparison, you'll see there's an awful lot of options available, and obviously more so when it comes to the pro or premium version. I do like the fact that there's a free version because it allows you to kind of get a feel for what you're gonna sort of get from the package, get a kind of understanding of how it works and if it resonates with you as a designer, as a coder, whatever you kind of are, and then you can make a more informed decision moving forward. Ones that don't have a free or light version do make it a little bit more difficult to kind of test things out uh, before you invest money in it. But that's ACPT, and that's basically all of the ACF or Advanced Custom Fields alternatives that I would recommend you take a look at. Now, there are still more available, but these are the ones that I think are probably most widely known and also picking up the most interest. But if you've got a different one, something you've been using, let me know in the comment section below. Tell me what it is, and I can take a little look at it, and maybe you'll add it to a future list that's kind of covering the same kinds of topics. But as always, I welcome your feedback. All the applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.